there will now be an opportunity for silent prayer or meditation. You may be seated. Order. Order, honorable members, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Thank you very much. Honorable members, I noted that yesterday it took us exactly an hour, 10 minutes before we could start with the business of parliament. And echo, can, can you hear me now? Is there still echo? There seems to be a problem with our, our IT systems, and I'm sure during recess, all of those things will be dealt with. But I noted, honorable members, uh, with a heavy heart, I should say, that it took us an hour, 10 minutes, before we could start with the real business of the day. Now, there are certain things, rules I want to draw your attention to, which you are quite familiar with, and that is on points of order. Sub rule one, rule 92. A member may raise a point of order at any time during the proceedings of the house in terms of the procedure prescribed in rule 66 by stating that he or she is rising on a point of order. That's the first thing I would like to remind everybody on. A point of order must be confined only to a matter of parliamentary procedure or practice or a matter relating to unparliamentary conduct as defined and must be raised immediately when the alleged breach of conduct occurs. And that is rule sub two. Now please note this. No other member may raise another point of order before the presiding officer has ruled on the first point of order. That is sub rule seven. No member may raise a point of order again, again, on a similar point of order if the presiding officer has ruled that it is not a point of order or that the matter is out of order, which is sub rule eight. Members may not disrupt proceedings by raising points of order that do not comply with the rules. A presiding officer's ruling on a point of order is final and binding and may not be challenged or questioned in the house and this is now rule sub rule 11. Now honorable members I am I'm reading all this because I am trying to to I would want to ensure that there is no disorder in the house today. And honorable members, it makes it very difficult for a presiding officer when everybody is up on their feet and everybody is raising a hand whilst the presiding officer is yet to deal with the first point of order. It makes things difficult. I want to appeal to all of us that with all the differences we may be having, but it is important for us to maintain the decorum of the house. I'm appealing to all of us, honorable members. It is important 
that we maintain the decorum of the house. On that note, honorable members, I hope I am understood and that honorable members will conduct themselves like real honorable members should. I thank you, honorable members, for your attention. Honorable members, in the interest of safety for all present in the chamber, may I remind you to keep your mask on and sit in your designated area. Thank you. Order of the day, the secretary will read the order of the day. Resumption of debate on vote number one, the presidency, reply by the president, appropriation bill. I now invite the honorable the president to reply to the debate. The honorable the president. Speaker of the National Assembly, Deputy President David Dabede, on a point of order, on the virtual platform, on a point of order, Speaker. Yes, there is a much, point Speaker. of order. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. I rise in terms of Rule 92, and I think in terms of uh, also being. Bring your, mic, bring, bring your mic closer. In yeah. terms of being compliant with your request that there must be order in the house, I will request your patience yes. and indulgence as I read what premises my point of order. So I'll begin by quoting the Constitution, Schedule 2, mm -hmm. so that we have a better understanding of what point of order I'm writing on. And I'm taking extracts from that, and it reads as follows. Faithful to the, the president swears and solemnly swears that he will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, observe, and uphold and maintain the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic. And he solemnly swears sincerely to promise it, and he promises that I will always promote all that will advance the Republic and oppose all that may harm it, protect and promote the rights of all South Africans, as well as discharge my duties with all my strength and talents to the best of my ability, my knowledge, and true to the dictates of my conscience. To do justice to all, to devote myself to the well-being of the Republic and all of its people. In the case of the oath, so help me God. So, House Speaker, I read this oath because the President of the Republic of South Africa has been charged with combating the Corrupt Activities Act, charged with contravening. Speaker, honorable members, honorable members, honorable members, just there is a order. point, there is a point of order, is honorable Mazzoni. On top of my, on top of my order, speaker. No. You said the order can't be raised on top of an order. This is an order. Can it be allowed, please be allowed to finish. Honorable this. member Tambo. Honor, honorable Tambo. No, I will not cause disorder, I can assure you. But Honorable Tambo, with all due respect, I actually gave you time oh, but my to read finished. your point of order, finished, and you have quoted for, from the Constitution. Now my point of order that, is Okay, say your or, is, point of order then. The President of the Republic of South Africa has been charged with contravening, the combating of Corrupt Activities Act, with contravening the Organized Crime Act due to money laundering, now there rises a point of order. We Honorable Mazzoni. That we don't want to be complicit. Be complicit you, with you, illegal activities. You are actually, you are actually Honorable Member, you did not finish your Rule 92. You said you want to do this in terms of Rule 92. 
And then you went on to read that aspect, which is very important to all of us who are here. We're all sworn to that from the Constitution. But you did not finish your rule, your rule 92, which says rule number one, at sub rule number one of that actually says, a member may raise a point of order at any time during the proceedings of the House in terms of the procedure prescribed in Rule 66 by stating he or she is rising, which is what I was reading earlier on. And then it says a point of order must be confined only, only to a matter of parliamentary procedure Speaker, or pred parliamentary no, to be addressed by allow, someone who's charged me, with money laundering. Is allow me. Now, addressed by someone who's charged with money laundering, honorable member, bribery, torture, honorable member, stealing a crime, laundering money. How is that parliamentary? Honorable member, the same in terms of Jacob Zuma in terms of rule eighty five. No, no mistake. member, honorable Today, members, may impute, don't do that. Up until the end. I'm talking, I'm on the floor. Honorable Tambo, I am on the floor. I am on the floor. Honorable Tambo, I am, honorable member, I am on the floor. Ah, you're not going to disrupt the house, I can assure you. I am saying to you, I am on the floor. Honorable Chief Whip, you're not going to disrupt. authority. Yes, Honorable Chief Whip, Deputy Chief Whip, Honorable Mazonis. Uh, uh, Honorable Chairperson, if I may rise, uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm terribly sorry. If I may rise on Rule 65 of the Rules Book, read together with Rule 77. Rule 65... <laughs> done at any given time. The relevance of the, of the President being here today is to respond to questions and motions that were posed to him yesterday. So that's the relevance. Then in terms of Section 77, we talk about gross disorder. And when the Speaker of the House tells you to take your seat or has explained to you that you are standing on the incorrect point of order, we have a duty which we have agreed to, and it stands in the Rules and Guidelines Book of Parliament too, to take your seat and then remain quiet. So I would like you, uh, Madam Speaker, to please rule on Rule 65, read together with Rule uh, 77, because I believe that both the points of order were irrelevant and are now causing gross disorderly conduct in the House. Thank you very much, Honourable, Honourable Tambo. Speaker, may I address you? Honorable Tambo, you're not going to address me. Sit down. Take your seat. You are not going to address Speaker. me. Because you have not allowed me to address you, Honorable Member. You've not. So allow me to address you. And my point is to you, Honorable Member, as you raise your point of order, you, you, who, you, you should not in any way make reflections upon the president or any other members of parliament. And this is what you are doing. Your point of order when you started, I allowed you to speak because you said you wanted to rule, to speak on rule number 92. You went on. You read the Constitution, which was very good, and I allowed you, I allowed you time. And after you've done that, you are now making reflections on people in the National Assembly. And I am saying I cannot allow that because that is out of order. That is out of yeah, order. May I clarify, Speaker? You're not going to clarify that. No, but you've made a ruling that I think is and inconsistent. In and in addition, in addition, in terms of what I was saying, Speaker, you've not followed what I was saying. No, I so followed what you are we saying. To take our time. Honorable Clakute. Speaker. Speaker. But Speaker, can you also can you also know that you are here in Parliament as well on virtual platform? We have okay. called order here. Okay, Honorable Speaker. Mkali. Honorable Tambo. I took my time, Speaker. 
you took your time and I took my time to explain no the rules to you. Order. The people at I, home need to understand what we're saying the president has done. Honorable Tambo, you, need to explain to the people of you are Africa causing the disorder in the house. Why are you limiting us from that? Honorable Tambo, you are causing disorder in the house. And, and I am warning you now, because when I address you, you should not talk as I address you in terms of the rules. Yes, Honorable Jagude. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. It's a point of I order. On a point of order. Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Speaker. It's, a, it's, a, it's a point of order, right? It is a point of order. You but how do you know? Scream. Never said point, point of order. How do you know that? Yes, how do you know it's a point of order, Speaker? Speaker, I'm standing on Rule 69, yeah. point of order Rule 69, sub Rule C and D, mm -hmm. which reads repeatedly undermining the authority of the presiding officer. No member may repeatedly undermining the authority of the presiding officer or repeatedly refusing to obey rulings of the presiding officer or repeatedly disrespecting and interrupting the presiding officer while the letter is addressing the house. No member pers may persist in making serious allegations against a member without adequate substanti substantiation or following the correct procedure. The, 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 the issue that the Honorable Tambo is raising, Honorable Speaker, hasn't been tested anywhere. The president is not arrested. The president hasn't appeared before the court of law. The president is not charged anywhere. So can we please not put the cart before the horse? Let's allow the process, the proper processes to be followed. Let's allow the law enforcement uh, agencies to do their work. As parliament, we are not trained to do that. The president agreed that he will subject himself to any process. So let's allow that. The rules are saying that, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Jakute. Honorable Jakute, thank you. No, no. Hold, hold on, Honorable Members. I'm not, I'm not going to have anyone disrupting this session. Not again. Not again. Now, Honorable Member Tambo, I am now giving you a formal warning. You will not do what you have done again. We now proceed with the business may, of the time. May I, may I ask a question, House Chair? Was there, did you make any ruling? But House Chair, can I be protected? I want clarity. You are protected, speaker. Honorable Tambo. Previous speaker says that I have violated your ruling. Can you clarify if you made any ruling in terms of the utterances? You I have violated the rule because as I was addressing you, right, you continued to speak. I have given you an opportunity to address me in the same way that I came in here and I addressed all honorable members. I gave you an opportunity. And even though I gave you an opportunity, when I tried to stop you now, when you were making reflections on members of parliament, you continued to speak and I said it cannot be. So I, I am now correctly so to giving you a warning. <laughs> Honorable members. Yes. I now have Honorable uh 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 Honorable Tlangwin, you and I have had a chat. You are not going to do those things which the uh, the two of us have spoken about. Honorable Mkalipi on the virtual platform. Yeah, thank you very much, Speaker, for recognizing me. Honorable Speaker, I think we are very unfair on Honorable Tambo. We are disturbing him while he's following the rules. He's quoting Rule 92, subsection 1 which he is protected with. And when he's articulating his point of order and he's quoting the constitution, you allow Mazoni, Honorable Mazoni, I don't want to say Honorable Mazoni, Miss Mazoni, to step here, Honorable to say that- Mkalipi. But I'm still speaking to- in, in terms of the same rule 85, a member, no member may impute improper motives to any member. But I have not seen it. No way. That's the problem and of your speaker. Speak. 
of to speak on what because we have not had my point of and order. That's exactly what Honorable Tambo has just done. And this is no, what it's just that you are impatient, you are not listening to us. No, I want to speak about it. I want to speak about it. I Honorable Mkalipi. No, just give us a chance, speaker. Don't be like your no, your princess of America. You must not be impatient. I am now you must preside you. over this house. Don't be impatient. We are putting point of orders. Kalipi, I have warned you. On what now? I am saying to you, I have ruled on Honorable Tambo's statement. Because now you are challenging both yourself and Honorable Tambo are actually challenging my ruling. I want to declare it. I'm not challenging your ruling. No, you I'm are. saying. You no, are. just listen for a second, speak. I'm Honorable, saying while she, he was on Honorable the platform, Tambo, you uh, allow you allow Mazzoni to disturb him. Why he's articulating in Honorable terms of the Mazzoni. So when uh, speaker now you don't respect the constitution of Rep Republic of Honorable, South Africa. Honorable, you are are you Honorable, allowing the president to have a the second warning? I'm just you clarify on that point. South Africans wants to know that you have thrown out the, the constitution of the Republic speaker. Honorable, just tell us. Honorable, just clarify Honorable, that. You are out of order. And because you are out of order and you have refused to listen, I am now removing you from the platform. No, no, speaker. Speaker, you can't do that. Now, it can't be the only proceed. intervention is we warning. Honorable Pambo. Speaker, please Honorable listen to Pambo, us. I've not recognized you. I have, and by the way, I did say that no other member may raise another point of order before the presiding officer has ruled on the first one. I didn't call for a point of order. No, I'm not going. I want you are not going to force me to recognize you. There are other hands in the chamber here. Yeah? No problem. Yes, honorable. No, also in the house, but uh, uh, we can be recognized. Honorable Umpile Mantwe, Umpile, honorable member, don't do that. Honorable member, treat us, treat us, treat us with respect here in this chamber. There must we, we, be we mutual respect amongst members. Don't speak at us. Honorable respect Mente, I recognize you. Recognize us. That's all we're asking. Honorable Mente, I recognize you. Honorable Umpile, I have not recognized you, and I'm warning you now. I am warning you, and I'm going to throw you out. Honorable Mente, uh, thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, I'm rising on a point of order, Rule 92, subsection 1. Speaker number one, I think you should also be cautious of what you say, because now you are intimidating us. You've just thrown out Honorable Mkalipi when she did not say anything but seeking clarity. Yesterday, you did the same thing, and men were manhandling. Uh, Honorable, Honorable uh, Baba Loma Tule. Honorable Men, I have made a sexually ruling. harassing. Have, Honorable harassing. Baba Loma Tule. I have made a ruling. Honorable Mente, please, with all due respect, I have made a ruling, on, and you are not going to challenge my ruling. On a point, on, on a point they of order, speaker. I will not on challenge your ruling. On a point of order, speaker. You are doing on a point exactly of order. what you did yesterday. You are again. Trying to on a point of order, the speaker of the house from continuing. I am recognizing other points of order. On a, on a point of order, member. Um, on a point of order. Yes, you'll come after Honorable uh, Mamuluko. Thank you very much, Speaker. Um, in terms, I rise on point of order. In terms of Rule Six, mm. Rule Six gives the speaker. The responsibility to frame a ruling <coughs> cannot be challenged throughout until a sitting of the rules committee that can make a recommendation to the house. I want to say, honorable speaker, since we have framed a ruling at the beginning of a sitting, at the beginning of the sitting, you made a framing. So meaning once we have done that, no other member 
is allowed to stand, make a reference to the matter that you have already ruled, which is relating to the president and the Palapala House. So what we are requesting, Mr. S Madam Speaker, is that because of the framing and the rule that gives you that framing responsibility, and that the only time any member can rise on that matter is after a, a, a sitting of a rules committee, meaning that no other member during this proceeding can stand on that point of order, and that immediately you can make a ruling to take even them out immediately without having to on, listen to that on, member. Thank you very much. Honorable Kubai, Honorable Kubai, you are correct, there is that provision. However, honorable members, for now there is no basis for me to use that rule. I, I will use that rule when the time comes and it becomes necessary for me to do so. For now, there is no basis for that. Honorable members, I take Honorable Shivambo from the, uh, from the virtual platform. No, speaker. <laughs> yes, on a point of order, speaker. There is no, there is no rule that permits you none whatsoever to suspend the rules of the National Assembly. The rules of the National Assembly are permanently and perpetually applicable as long as there's a sitting of the National Assembly. There is nowhere in the rules that gives you the power. The rule now, the point of, the of order. The point of order. The point of order that I'm raising on. The order that I'm raising on, can you please listen? Can you please listen? I am listening. You should listen Yes, the point of order is that yesterday... Listen to... You called... You called... You called... You called rascals who are called parliamentary protection services to sexually harass members of parliament. What are you talking about? You called... Listen first. Listen first. Be patient. Yesterday, you called in security guards... You You're called in security guards yesterday. You called in male security guards Honorable yesterday Shivambo, to come and harass now. members of parliament. I'm giving you Can a warning. Can you please listen? Because there's no warning point for of what? order. There is no point of I'm, order. But Honorable listen first. Kumbele. On the point of order, speaker. Listen on the point of order first. On the point of order, speaker. Speaker. Take you a seat. In, you are treating people who are on the virtual platform. Take, take a seat, Honorable Tambo. But you are treating people on the virtual I'm not ill treating them. Because take, you don't give them time. Honorable to Tambo, no, take a wrong. seat. You're part of the National Assembly. Take, take a seat, no, Honorable wrong, Tambo. Thank you, Honorable Tambo. Hello, Honorable, Honorable Tambo. Honorable Tambo. Aye. Honorable Tambo. Yeah. Honorable Tambo. Honorable on Tambo, take your there. seat. No. Take your seat. No, here, center. Well, I, I do have on the here. Honorable Kungubele. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I thought in terms of the same rule six, your indulgence is bad. That the basis for its execution has always been there. And now a number of these a, a number a number of these members, Honorable Speaker. Pointing fingers, uh, Speaker, is unparliamentary. You must not be pointing fingers at us. Okay, we throw with this. We throw this. You, you no, we throw your finger, Chief. We throw your finger. Of rule six, they have continued to undermine the frame. So the Peter Kungubele is pulling a zap sign at us. Kungubele is pulling a middle finger at us as members of parliament, speaker. It's actually undermining rule six. Thank you very much, you, honorable, honorable members. Thank you. Thank you very Point much. Point of order, speaker. Hold on. Hold on. A speaker. Honorable members. A speaker. Honorable, may I clarify something to all of you? All of you. I am sitting here. I am a presiding officer. I've got the rules here. And at some time, I have to consult with the table office because they are more familiar with the rules than all of us here. And I take their advice very seriously. I am saying, therefore, it is not yet the time for me to rule or to use rule six because there are rules under which we are still basing my facts on. 
I can't see how we are going to finish this debate. I, I, I can assure you. Speaker. Speaker. See here somewhere. The ultimate will be that the president will read his response and we will then finish and attend the meeting. Are you, you are not going to do what you did yesterday. In fact, Speaker. Can, yes. Can you on a point of order. On a, on a point of order. You did on a point not of raise order. your hand. I did. I did speak. I said. No, there. you don't appear on my system. You just bashed in. You did not. Oh, no, that's a, uh, 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 I did. I did. Oh, no, I did. Oh, no, I did. Can you be patient? Speak out with us, please. Honorable Sane, Honorable Primrose, you are not going to patch in. I'm addressing the assembly. Honorable Speaker, and Kalu Kulu, my friend. Honorable Primrose, this is my second warning to you, Pindafoot. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. I have, Honorable now, Speaker. I have now removed you from the system. For what? Honorable Speaker. Speaker. From the system. Thank Speaker. You. Honorable On the point Speaker. of order, Speaker. Yes, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Speaker, I, I want to remind you what the Constitution is saying on Section 10, the Bill of Rights. Yes. It says that the, everyone has a right a to right. dignity. And that dignity must be protected. Mm. And I want you to clarify to us which dignity did you protect yesterday? Honorable Honorable you are out of a society I am giving you a warning, I am now giving you a warning for the second time, Pindafuti. Pindafuti. Speaker, oh, thank you very much. When you are threatening us like that. Speaker. Speaker. Sponani. Um, I rise on a point of, uh, um, on, Don't I do that. But speaker, what you are doing is unfair. I rise on row number up. 68, speaker. Honorable that speak of the I rise on row number 68. That Rune speak of 68? irrelevance or yes, irrelevance or repetition, speaker. Yes. The president of the presiding officer may order a member addressing the house to stop speaking if that member, despite warnings from the chair, persists in irrelevant or repetitive arguments. Speaker, from uh, since we have well, we started at 10 o'clock, the you honorable much, members honorable have... Punani, take your seat. Thank you. And mute. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. Now, honor, I now recognize you, Honorable Nklangwini. Thanks very much, Speaker. Speaker, you can't be doing that. You, you don't allow our members to finish the points of orders. I mean, how do you anticipate what the member is going to say? Unfortunately, Honorable, I, I am actually... Our members finish our day now, Honorable Member, if I may say this, Honorable Member... Where if, are we? Wait a minute. Honorable uh, Member, right, uh, if an Honorable Member right the from the beginning in his op or her opening statements... You can't. He, he, no, Honorable Member, I can. You can't. Sit speak. down, Honorable Member. You done? Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Now, honorable members, we continue. No, 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 speaker. Order, speaker. Order, yes. speaker. Yes, yes, honorable. Wait a minute. Speaker, the problem that we are having here is that you are threatening people that you're going, to, you're going to remove them. You can't just remove people. Yesterday, people were. Take removed. a seat, honorable member. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. I am the only one who's presiding no, here. Biased, okay, you, you continue. I am warning you now. No, take a no, seat. I am right. warning you for the second no, time. No, take a seat. Not like that. You can't just Honorable. All you right. Why are you saying that? Your... Honorable member, no, will you please no. leave the house? Honorable Murray, leave the house. Point of order, speaker. Honorable Murray, leave the house. Point of order, speaker. Ivo, Ivo, this speaker. Sergeant and arms, 
Will you please assist other people? Other people, other people, other people, other people, other people, because the men are touching our private parts. No, Pika, no, 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 no. Bring Never. women to remove Pika. us. Not Pika. men. Pika. They will make a case against you. Just because the men touch the record. The record. Yes. And the woman are the speaker. Is to be touched. Yeah. By the father, speaker. Yes. 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 That was the speaker. Yes. Yes. That was the speaker. And the father, speaker. And the father, speaker. Yes. Yes. Honorable Zakuna, Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. Okay. Thank you very much, Honorable Marie. But Speaker, this is unfair. The virtual platform is not part of Parliament. Can we be recognized? Parliamentary Protection Services touch your private parts. Point of order, Speaker. As a woman, I would not allow that. But I'm appealing with you to leave to leave the house. You are a woman and you're allowing men to touch our private no, parts. No, Speaker, I now leave the house. Leave the house. Oh, the doing it to other women. Oh, the point of order, Speaker. Please, 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 Protection on of order, protection speaker. You are being disingenuous in this moment by saying you did not know. Speaker, order, speaker. speaker. we are not going to be touched by men here. No security is going to touch our women. Speaker, that's why you become rapist because you deny. I'm emotional, speak. I'm not emotional. I'm not emotional. Point of order, speaker. Oh, I have to be a man. Okay, these ones recognize. are not made. Out, out. They are made. They are not made. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Point of order, speaker. Yes, point of order. I'm raising on rule number twenty-six, subsection two. Yes, speaker. Among some of your responsibilities, you have the responsibility to uphold the dignity of this house. And we are conveying a message to you, telling you that women EFF MPs yesterday were sexually harassed. We are telling you for the first time now, and you have ignored these constant calls, alerting to you, as a speaker who's a woman, that women in this house were sexually harassed by the securities you called on them. And you are doing it again by ignoring us. And also okay. acting oh, no. very unleniently to women MPs in this house. Thank you very much, Honorable. Right Honorable Shirwa. How many men have been disturbing you online? Honorable. 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 Shirwa. When is a woman you mute them? Honorable Shirwa. And you call securities on them. Honorable Shirwa. Hi, women. It's a warning. They you must behave. Women, women must behave. Second warning, Honorable Shirwa. Because you are doing us a favor. Honorable Shirwa. Honorable Shirwa, I've, I've now warned you twice. And I just want to say something. I think for the sake of the integrity and the dignity of this house. Honorable Shirwa, you said you won. Honorable Mare raised my attention to the fact that she does not want to be removed here by a man because they sexually harassed them. Tula Gengotula. And I have said women should come in and remove her. Because Pika, she's Tula in the center mouth is being shut up. Because you can't say to her. You are going to accuse me I'm of allowing again for sexual harassment of women. Issue. You are wrong. I'm going to ask you for the last time, Speaker. No, it's your fault, Speaker. It's your fault. I've now warned you. Honorable, remove please leave the, house. leave the house. Leave the house. Leave the house. Leave the house, Honorable Chinua. Leave the house. But speaker, you can't do that. You can't do what you are doing, speaker. He's got the right to raise a point of order. And he's raising very important issues. Why are you coming out? We are on the virtual platform. We are not recognized. Let me just finish with. I've been raising my hand, but you don't. You don't allow me to raise my point of order. Thank you very much, Honorable Chirwa, for leaving the house. I was, 
What are you doing, Tambo? You see, you are doing it again. You call the man on me again. Honorable. You are doing it again. Honorable so Tambo. Calling men to come and handle us in this house. You're not upholding the, house. the dignity of this house at the cost you of women in this house. Obstructing you are doing us a the favor. House. Speaker, by allowing us to speak in this house, we are telling you a very important issue. I am now we are being sexually harassed under your watch, and, and you are letting it happen. As a woman speaker in this country, stop you are not lenient on women MPs. Don't pick us out very quickly. I'm taking you mute us on the Zoom platform. I but to men, you, out. you do nothing to them. I am now you do taking nothing you to out. the men in this house. Ah, you are pleading. You are you are leaving. Honourable Chirwa. I am removing you, Honorable Tambo, because you are trying to cover up because I'm telling you that you are lenient on men. Now you want to remove Tambo. What did he do? He did nothing. You said you must remove me. Ungenap, who Tambo speaker. It's because you can see that what I'm telling you is the truth. No, man. You are lenient on men. <coughs> and you are physically, 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 